This is P, and we're back. October the 1st, 2021, TGIF. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe now. That way you can stay up to date with all my latest unboxing and review videos. Um, thanks to all my day one YouTube subscribers. And also, if you're new and you're subscribing for the first time, comment below. And I'll try to give you a shout out in the comment section. So, what you see in the title is what I just received probably 15 minutes ago. Um, I did the pre-order with Apple, and this is the first time I've purchased an Apple device other than the iTouches back in the day, and those was actually gifts. So, in the past, I actually did have a um, iPhone like um, X. S Max, um, and I traded it in for another device um, I had got unlocked from a friend. But other than that, as far as having like the iTunes account and all of that, I've had that, but I've never um, owned or purchased an Apple iPhone. Period. Always Team Android. So I thought I'd switch it up for the review. Got the pre-order in. Took a few weeks. No trade in. And um, this is what I got. So we're going to go ahead and open it up and then um, we'll go over the specs and then a few accessories that I got to go with it as well. So um, as you can see in the title, this is going to be the Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max Top Dog, but the entry level on the storage with the 128. I should have got the 256 at least and I'll tell you why a little bit later. Alright, so this is the thin little box that just came in from US Express. And the date and everything and the tracking was on point. I just see that some people got their reviews up. And it may be that they went to the Apple store in person or something like that. So we have the slice six right here. So this is the box with the contents on the inside. So you see the color that I went with is um, this blue. I'm just going to call it University Blue um, or Carolina Blue or Chapel Hill Blue. And you get the Apple logo up top on the bottom, iPhone on the side, and right here. And on the back, it just says, designed by Alpha in California, assembled in China. And it's gonna be the 13 Pro Max, and it's gonna include the USB-C, the lightning cable, power adapter, and headphones are sold separately, all right? So this is going to be unlocked and it will support CDMA, GSM, LTE, and 5G. Um, so you're going to have your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, GPS, and all of that. 2021 at the bottom. So just a little comparison to this, this year's competitor. This is the standard box for the S21 5G, but they're both super thin because they don't contain like a wall charger, but it, like I said, it should have the um, lightning cable, sync cable in here. So we're going to move it a little bit closer so we can actually unbox it hands on. So basically to open it, it's telling you to tear it on the bottom right here. And right here, that breaks the seal. Whoa. Oh, 
this is definitely magnificent and premium. So the front, the side bezels, and I think either steel or titanium. These are your three rear cameras, flash and sensor, Apple logo, SIM card injection, volume up and down, power is over here on the right, and that's for all sounds off. So I think this is going to be your 6.7 inch display. And along in the box, you get your little USB to lightning sync cable, little SIM ejection tool, and that's it. So you could probably bundle this on your own with maybe no discount with the AirPod Pros. These are for a friend. Uh, their child is having a birthday tomorrow. So they purchased these from me. But I have tried these before. They sound great on Android and Apple devices. And you can also hook it up with the Beats Studio Buds. So that's your volume on the bottom. All right, so let's see, what do we have next? Um, let's go over some specs real quick. Okay, so basically we'll start with the rear and some of the specs. So you're gonna have stainless steel around the bezel on the sides and the top. The matte glass back, and this is the Sierra blue color. It almost looks sort of silver on certain angles. But Sierra blue, uh, you can get it from 128 gigabytes to one terabyte. It weighs in at 8.46 ounce, ounces. The thickness of it is going to be 0 0.30 of an inch. You're going to have the Super Retina XDR display with 2778 by 1284 pixel, 458 on the PPI. This is running the A15 chip processor. Shoots 4K video, FaceTime series, 120 hertz, refresh rate, Face ID, and the iOS is 15 for the software. So yeah. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. So it is going to support wireless charging. We do know that. And um, we'll try to power it up real quick in a second. Um, but before that, we'll go over a few of the accessories. All right. So I'm going to open up the first package. One of my accessories haven't came in yet. Um, Well, actually it did. All right, so this is going to be the cord charger up to 30 watts power delivery. And the box got a lot of damage. I must have just sliced that. But anyway, yeah. So arc station cord charger. Got to be careful when you're snatching open these packages, especially when you're on the insane cuts. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about in the supplement world. Shout out to GM24. Alright, so here's the actual case by Spigen. Ultra Hybrid. 
and it's going to be matte. All right. Now I do have a wall charger, but it won't be in until Monday. Um, so yeah. So we'll go ahead and peel this off. Now we're gonna see on this Samsung charger if it actually charges up. So we definitely wanna be careful. Yeah, so it does have a charge. Just a quick comparison. 6.7 inch on the Samsung S20 Plus 5G. Comment below if you're enjoying the video. Check out my other videos too. I don't. Maybe the United States is first. Oh yeah, it is. Huh, what was I doing? Alright, so you got a quick start. Alright, so we'll put in a little bit of information. So hang tight while we log in. Like I said, this is the unlocked version. All right, so. You definitely want to be careful when you first set it up, but you have the bright super retina display. Set that up later. So I just created a password. Now I don't have any Apple devices. I do have a sign in for Apple, but you know how it goes. Restore from your iCloud backup, restore from your Mac or PC, transfer directly from an iPhone or move data from an Android. That's probably what I would do. Or don't transfer apps and data. So maybe we'll go with that next. All right, more skit. I thought I could show you, um, you know, the initial setup, but basically you see the difference in this year's model is round edges similar to the Pro Max 11, where I think the 12 had more squared off edges, right? The notch is smaller, is more narrow, but it is a little bit deeper. Um, you got the time over on this side. You got your antenna sensors right here, right here, and right here. And on the bottom, those are your speakers. But yeah, so it's up in the air. I'm gonna play around with it a little bit. I'm gonna make a decision on if I'm gonna switch for the first time from Android, which I doubt, or I'm just gonna list this on eBay um, after the review. If you're interested, comment below or check out my eBay um, 
um, store. I'll have a link in the description below. But it is very nice, very sleek. Definitely on point. Alright, like, comment, share, subscribe. Oh yeah. Cut it off. So it's about 70% charged. Hello. Bye bye. Say something funny. It's your life. You're fucking quiet.